One of the most appetizing events at every Orlando pizza show is the American Pizza Championship. Pizzaiolos flock from across the nation to compete against the previous year's winners and others for a chance to be crowned America's Best Pizza Maker. This year it was no different as competitors brought their best recipes and went pie for pie in an effort to gain respect of their peers as well as notoriety in their hometowns and across the U.S. How you doing, R.C. Gallegos from Kingwood, Texas, R.C.'s Pizza. Uh, today we made the Chicken Ryan. My name is Sabrina Bate. Um, from Joseph's Pizza in Jacksonville, Florida, and I made the Joseph's Special. This pizza's been served at Joseph's since 1956. from the Pizza Dock in Fredericktown, Ohio. Um, the pizza I made today is it's called Mama's Best Deal slash Mike's Favorite. Hi, my name is James Catafino. Catafino is Italian in Pickerington, Ohio. The pizza I turned in today is called The Champion. My name is Frank Baird from Pizza Plus of Ohio. Uh, the pizza I did today was a Sicilian deep dish. Patrick Maggi, Blues Barbecue Company, Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, I did the prosciutto pear pizza today. Hi, how are you? I'm Steve Lieber. I'm from uh, Rack's Italian Bistro and Market in North Miami Beach. I came to Orlando today to make a uh, black truffle pizza. My name is Simal Ramusovic. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I cook uh, Pomodoro's favorite pizza. Hi, my name is Jason Samoski, Samoski's Homestyle Pizzeria, Valley City, Ohio. And I made the chicken salsa pizza. My name is David Smith. I own Smith's Pizza Palace Plus Restaurant. We're in Emporia, Pennsylvania. The pizza I made today is a grudge pizza, but what it actually is a jambalaya pizza with a stuffed mushroom appetizer. Perfect pizza crust. Perfect pizza crust. Yeah. Yeah. Yet it's still crispy. Yeah, Did that work out? And people realize how hard that is to make. It's very difficult. Third place this year goes to Mr. Michael Amheiser of Pizza Doc in Fredericktown, Ohio. Number two is Patrick Maggi, Blues Barbecue Company in Roanoke, Virginia, with its prosciutto pear pizza. Number one for the biggest pizza pier we have is Steve Lever, Rack Italian Bistro Market, with his black truffle pizza. Steve, come back and talk to us. <laughs> Thanks everybody, um, it was great to be here, um, everybody here was unbelievable to be working with for the last day and a half and uh, I'm just so happy, I don't know what else to do. Well today I just won the American Pizza Championship, I produced uh, the black truffle pizza and it was voted best pizza in America today. Um, well, the, the secret to this one was dough maturation. Um, this dough was actually five day old dough. Uh, so we matured it very, very long so that the yeast would make it very, very light, very airy, but yet very crisp. Um, he very easily digestible. The Italian style of pizza, uh, not only does it have to be great ingredients, but it has to really sit well and be easily digested. And that was what the key was in this competition. We started with an Alfredo sauce base, which is um, Parmesan cheese, heavy cream and butter, and reduced to a little thickness. I tubed that on the pie from a pastry bag. I dropped some scallions on the pizza, um, some fresh mozzarella. Then I laid out the truffles carefully around it, baked it in the oven with a little uh, 
Pecorino Romano cheese as it came out of the oven. I finished it with some truffle oil and some grated Reggiano Parmigiano. And you can't go wrong with all those ingredients. Thanks a lot, and I'm happy to be part of the U.S. pizza team and uh, looking forward to compete with them in many more tournaments around the world. Thank you. As this year's winner, Steve Lieber, advances to the America's Plate competition at PMQ's New York Pizza Showcase in 2010, he'll compete against representatives from other countries for the title of World's Best Pizza Maker. He'll then represent America in the upcoming European competition. Find out more about Lieber and his winning recipe in the December 2009 issue of PMQ Pizza Magazine.